What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Mike Dolce Show. Today, we're talking about why healthy food isn't usually healthy. It's not really healthy. Most of the time, it is not healthy. And I'm going to explain that to you right now. Welcome. By the way, I'm a little out of breath because we're rearranging the facility right now. Moving power racks. I just before the episode, I moved about 3,000 pounds worth of plates, unloading all the pins on one of our monster elite rogue power racks. I'm going to break that down. If anybody wants one, I'm going to sell it so you can leave a message in the chat. I mean, you can get the official, one of the official Dolce Diet Rogue Monster Elite freestanding power racks. Come on now. If you're in the greater, uh, Monmouth County, New Jersey area, you want to swing by and pick it up, this might be for you otherwise. I'm going to reach out to some of my connections and get rid of it, but I digress. Today we're talking about, you got alerted, bam, Paul P. That's good to know. Happy to hear that, man. You got alerted. That is awesome. All right. So point being here, let me just jump out. I want to make sure all of our screens are set up. Everything is working. There we go. Hello, everybody. Nice. This video is live now. Bam, bam. And that's what we're talking about. All right. So now back to the conversation. Healthy food is not healthy. Why is this? I was having a conversation with one of my friends earlier, and he actually said that as we were in conversation talking, healthy food is not real food is what he said. And Wow, what a great comment. I told him I would give him Charlie. I'd give you attribution for that. So thank you. But this got me thinking. Years and years ago, back in 2000, I don't know, 2009, 2010, I was telling everybody to eat whole food, eat whole food, eat whole food, eat whole food. And people were like, oh man, Dolce said I can eat at whole foods. And people were conflating going to whole foods as being healthy. And I was like, no. There is so much in Whole Foods, probably 70% of what they sell is not healthy. It's not good for you. And we stopped saying Whole Foods. That's when I started saying Earth Grown Nutrients. And then on it co-opted my term Earth Grown Nutrients. They actually took that from us and they put it onto their own product and they sold their product. And I never got a royalty for that. So live and learn in business, you know, not all... Not all friends are your friends, by the way. But anyway, no hard feelings there. Now, what is this, by the way? Bam, sipping on that Dolce Whey, grass-fed, organic whey protein isolate. This actually is healthy food. But all right, let's, let's get away from this, this preamble. Now, what am I speaking about specifically? Feel free to leave any questions in the chat as I'm talking, because I want to really share this information with you. When we look online, and let me change the screen, so hopefully you can see, Kellogg's. And I started searching healthy food. When I searched healthy food, guess what? Kellogg's popped up as one of the first hits earlier today, doing research for this video. And when it popped up, I found something internet and interesting. It says Kellogg's.com. And right here, one of the original plant-based food companies. Now, briefly, I ask you, Kellogg's, one of the original plant-based food companies, and Kellogg's themselves has done an amazing job of implicating them for the exact same wrongdoing I wanted to make this video about and I didn't even know that this information was out there. I mean, you want to talk about cherry picking and low-hanging fruit. Well, thank you, Kellogg's. Let's share this with the very informed, educated, Dolce diet audience. Now, let me click on this and let me take you down this journey. Please stay with me for a moment because these foods are in your home right now. And if you have children, you are feeding these foods to your children. Wow. I go to Kellogg's and look, broccoli. There is broccoli in the hero banner, the upper third of the URL, the .com for Kellogg's, this is the main brand site for international food company Kellogg's. 
and they have broccoli on their hero banner of their main site, a product with which they do not sell. With the supportive text, we're one of the original plant-based well-being companies? Really? Kellogg's? Remember, the title of this video, Healthy Food is Not Healthy. And this video is designed to bring your attention to the deceptive marketing tactics utilized in the health and fitness industry, the nutrition industry, the supplement industry, the diet industry, the, the exercise industry, the wellness industry. And I'll point to some others, but let's, let's go down this rabbit hole here. One of the original plant-based food companies. Interesting. Well, Let's click on, well, let me, let, let's go back here for a second. Let's go back here for a second. Start here. And as we go down, we see, wow, farmers helping farmers, oh, honoring food pioneers and heroes. Kellogg responds to disasters around the world and chocolatey dipped flakes. But moving on, we see what looks like a very forward leaning healthy site we click on their story and look at the history and the lineage but now when we click on well-being wow look at the raspberries look at what appears to be healthy wheat fiber dense squares kellogg's is delivering a better start to the day well, let's find out how. And please stick with me here because I'm going to wrap this up in a moment. A moment. Kellogg's is redefining nourishment. Go beyond traditional nutrition to consider fit to, to consider physical, emotional, emotional, and societal interconnections, driven by our portfolio of plant-based foods. Their Kellogg's is nurturing our planet. They're feeding. Children in need. And again, they're nourishing small families with foods. Well, wow, Kellogg's, I didn't know you were one of the original plant-based food companies dedicated to nourishing the global population. I had no idea. Well, let's go a little bit deeper now. Let's actually find out their foods. Well, let's just click on number one. Their breakfast favorites and treats. Let's see what Kellogg's serve. Oh, whoa. Wait a minute. What is this? What is this? Kellogg's, the original plant-based food company dedicated to nourishing the world through their plant-based food products is actually and also the brand behind Pop-Tarts. Pop-Tarts and Fruit Loops and Rice Krispie Treats. Now let's go down a little bit deeper because I do want to show you the actual ingredients in the nutrition facts of oh there it's a little slow now the kellogg site let me go back for a second let's refresh this page and see if it comes back there we go the kellogg's frosted cherry pop tarts Nutrition facts and ingredients. Let's view that smart label and see exactly how one of the original plant-based food companies is providing us and nourishing us. I wonder if it's intentional why this is loading so slowly. There we go. Perfect. Well, as we look, we can see Two Pop-Tarts, which is nothing, contains 370 calories. Well, that's a lot. Two Pop-Tarts 
contain 70 grams of carbohydrate. 70 grams of carbohydrate in one snack pack of two, two pastries of Pop-Tarts. But this is the kicker right here. 30 grams of added sugar with just one gram of fiber. But now, let's look at the ingredients, ladies and gentlemen, the ingredients. Remember Kellogg's, one of the original plant-based food companies, and their mission statement is focused on nourishing the planet through their plant-based brand or their plant-based line of food products. Well, look at what Kellogg's is serving you. Number one, enriched flour, which is garbage, nothing, crap, don't eat it. Number two, now ingredients are listed by highest quantity. So the highest quantity ingredient is number one, the second highest, the third highest, the fourth highest, and so on. Number two is corn syrup. That is sugar. That is a synthetic version of sugar. It is a cheaper version of sugar that is more dangerous and more disruptive than just traditional cane sugar. The third ingredient is high fructose corn syrup, which is again a synthetic version of sugar, an inferior quality of sugar, a more destructive version of sugar. And as we continue on, soybean oil, more sugar, bleached wheat flour, salt, a, a, a pattering of, of, of dried fruit, and also red number 40, natural flavor, which you've learned on this channel before, are not natural. Natural flavor is not molasses and maple syrup. Natural flavor, because the FDA allows this, natural flavor are actually artificial flavors. Isn't that crazy? It makes no sense. It shows you how deceptive healthy food labeling is. But we have red number 40. We have red 40 lake. We have yellow number six and blue number one. The point to this being, my friends, is now look at this page. When you go to the homepage of Kellogg's, what do you see? You see broccoli. You see the words plant-based and well-being. Do you think this is intentional? Do you think their highly educated team of Harvard and Wharton MBAs sat around a table in their offices for weeks and months, spending untold millions of dollars to perfectly craft the imagery and the story behind Kellogg's so they could mass produce these products and ship them to your house, to your home, to your family. Now, stick with me one more moment because I want to show you something else. Let's go to, hold on. Bam, perfect. What is this? Mexico seizes 380,000 boxes of Kellogg cereal. This was three days ago. Mexico wants to improve children's diets. So it sees 380,000 boxes of cornflakes, Special K, and other Kellogg cereals claiming the boxes had cartoon drawings on them aimed um, at, come, let me read here, while cornflakes, Rice Krispies are clearly not the worst thing American children eat. Terrible story already. The laws prohibit food companies from using marketing tactics that might appeal to children like cartoons and mascots. What does this? And let me distill this down for you, this story down for you. So Mexico, mind you, Mexico, if you watch Narcos lately, by the way, Mexico 
sees 380,000, initially 380,000. Who knows what they've seen so far? Boxes of Kellogg's cereal because Kellogg's broke their rules in that you cannot use cartoon characters to market unhealthy foods to children. Think about that. Kellogg's was using cartoon characters to market to children, Special K, Corn Flakes, Rice Krispies, and following Mexican law, these were pulled from the shelves because the ingredients of these products are deemed unhealthy. I ask you, what are your standards in your kitchen? What do you feed your family? Do you have higher standards than maybe the Mexican government might have in what's considered healthy enough to feed to children? Let's just say, let's set the bar at minimum at what the Mexican government is saying should be excluded from children's diets. The point of this video, again, healthy food, is not healthy because highly paid marketing teams craft very special imagery and words and narratives and stories and brand identities to trick you into believing that these are healthy. Kellogg's has broccoli. Broccoli in the hero banner, the upper third portion of their company's Website, the, the biggest, largest, number one website of the entire Kellogg's international brand has broccoli in it. Kellogg's does not sell broccoli, ladies and gentlemen. Do you think they are intentionally trying to deceive you? Yes, they are. So when you go to the grocery store, when you walk down the aisles, when you see the little sunburst orange background with the happy little cartoon cow smiling in the big green lush fields standing on the box that says fat free gluten free sugar free keto friendly on the box just know that was crafted by marketers who do not care about your health they simply care about profits that's it that's it. Health foods are oftentimes and most likely not healthy. You know what healthy is? Well, earth-grown foods. The broccoli and maybe that glass of water is about the only healthy thing on this, this, this Kellogg's hero banner. That's it. Everything else on the Kellogg's website is garbage. It's not even worth, I'm not even gonna to drill through and go through this. I think you guys get it. Let me shut this down. Oh, there you go, frozen breakfast. Of course, we know that's healthy too. Let me remove this from the page. Let me speak with you. What do you guys think right now? Live Q&A begins. Let's answer some questions here. What do you guys think? Zlatan, what's up? Yo, senpai, what's up? Good to see you. Boom, subscriber with the badge, Zlatan has the subscriber badge showing that he is a subscriber of this channel. He is all badged up. Are you badged up yet? Click the join button. Subscribers with the badge will get preferential services here coming soon. Live chat with special guests that only those having the badge will take part in, plus special alerts and insider information only for those who subscribe to this channel and have the badge. We're working hard for you guys. Paul P actually got alerted, must not be shadow banned. Did you guys get alerted that this video was out? And do our videos show up in your feeds? Let me know in the chat or in the comments below. We're working hard trying to get back into the, uh, the YouTube algorithm here. I appreciate you guys. Damn, Mike, you out in Jersey? I'm in Gloucester County. Stand up, baby. Hell yeah. Rocking Monmouth County right now. Although we are thinking very heavily about Texas. Texas might be a reality. If any of my friends out here live in Texas, please let me know where you live and why it is awesome or not so awesome. Who cares? Says interested in this, needing a healthy protein supplement. 
There is none healthier than the Dolce Whey or cold processed cross flow micro filtered organic whey protein isolate. You can click the link um, below this video, click the description below this video, the Dolce Whey. Use the Dolce promo code. You will not be disappointed. Big up from Dallas, Texas. Dig is the Texas rep. Oh, yeah. How about that? I am wearing the Texas shirt. Um, Kellogg's equals healthy. LOL. I've never thought once, right? Plant-based GMO and the healthy soybeans. Exactly. Don't forget the corn syrup. Yep, yep. Bradley Olson. Bam. Bradley is all badged up. Rocking that subscriber badge. Um, I appreciate that, Bradley. Right on. Um, I stopped the Dolce diet because I read I could get ripped eating Pop-Tarts. Uh, we only wish, we only wish. That's more of like a, a John Kiefer carb backloading concept where he talks about the benefit of white sugar post-workout. John's a smart guy, but that was just a not, not a, a good look in my opinion. AG says, you were right. Started aiming for eight hours of sleep, last, sleep the last few days. My body has zero aches in the morning. Thank you. Thank you. It's as if we actually know what we're talking about over here. I appreciate it. Thank you for listening to us, by the way. Um, this is Golden Zlatan. Thank you. So badged up. Bam, Bradley badged up. Kellogg's site is slow and sluggish. Do all the shitty foods. It's hauling around. That is funny. That is a good one. I like that. I like that. Who cares? I'd rather eat 370 calories of ice cream or chocolate. LOL. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, it's, it's crazy. That's disgusting, right? Um, Chachin. Um, Carnuba wax. What the F? I know. What the F? What the F? Go get some oats and some berries. Why are you eating? Why are you eating that crappy crap, crappy cereal? Um, they are trying to ride the plant-based movement. Dece extremely deceptive. And a lot of those keto heads out there do the same thing. A lot of the carnivores right now do the same thing. Who's that carnivore MD guy? He's a carnivore MD, yet he eats plants and he tells people to eat plants. Dude, you're not a carnivore. You're an om omnivore. You're eating animal products and plant-based products. You're not a carnivore, man. Why are you lying to everyone? It's cool to be an omnivore. Every, every high-performing um, athlete, every high-performing athlete, like 100% is an omnivore. Every longest living human on the planet is an omnivore for their entire life. Our entire species has been omnivores. That's why we're freaking here. Like, But carnivore, I guess you want to sell your pills, which is a shame. I, I hate that shit. One product, and they already have, they're already feeding you and your children three artificial colors. Agreed. Isaac, bam, Isaac is badged up. Everyone, get badged up. Click that join button below. Why do you prefer almond butter instead of peanut butter? We don't. We prefer them all. Almond butter, peanut butter, cashew butter, love them all. We rotate. Typically, and that's what I do in my house. Once I run out of peanut butter, I'll get an almond butter, almond butter. I run out of almond butter. I'll get a um, cashew butter, run out of a cashew butter. I'll get a walnut butter or we'll make that. We do make a lot of uh, nut butters in our house with our Vitamix or blend tech. Saqib says, I can't convince the parents. Those are not healthy. They keep feeding their kids poison. Show them the ingredients. Show them the ingredients. Show them the sugar content and then hold a can of soda next to. So one serving, one serving of Pop-Tarts is equal to a can of sodas re with regards to sugar content. Parents will give their children Pop-Tarts first thing in the morning and send them off to school. Isn't that freaking crazy? Um, I'm just trying to find something here for you guys while I'm talking to support the point that we're making. Here we go. Let's see if this works. Hold on one second. Stick with me. Hang with me. Hang with me. Let me see if I can figure this out real quick. Trying to pull up. Again, this Kellogg site is super slow. You would think a company this big. Um, nope. Can't get it up. So no, no biggie. No worries. I was, try, I was trying to pull up more information, um, but it's, it's taking slow. I did get the alert. Happy to hear right on. Isaac got notified right on. Isaac is bagged up or badged up. Zlatan is badged up. Bam. Yes, got the alerted in my feed also. It seems like we're getting back into the algorithm, baby. That's what happens when you bring honest, actionable, evidence-based information to amazing, awesome, kick-ass people like yourselves. Thank you guys for being here and for being a part of this channel. And if you chose to, I'd appreciate you guys subscribing and being a part even more. Um, 
Wise guy says, Coach, any thoughts on the slow carb diet in Tim Ferriss's book, The Four Hour Body? You know, I don't know enough about it, but I did say someone years and years ago, they were talking about Tim Ferriss's slow carb diet. You know, let me actually, I'll do a full review on it. Um, they, they, I don't remember what it is right now, but I'll tell you a quick Tim Ferriss story. They broke down and said, hey, Dolce, what do you think about this, 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 this kind of tenets of the slow carb diet? I said, that's, uh, that's silly. That makes no sense. And then he came back. And he's like, well, this is what Tim Ferriss says. And he like tagged Tim and a bunch of other people. Next thing I know, I was getting attacked by like dozens, if not hundreds of people telling me to go F myself. And I don't know what I'm talking about. And like Tim was kind of getting aggressive with me also. And I was like, hey, man, didn't know it was you. Don't know anything about it. Like read the stream. I was just answering some dude's question. And then Tim was kind of cool. He was like, oh, yep. Sorry, bro. I get it. And then kind of like everybody like cooled off. And I never did a deeper dive. This is going back, I don't know, eight years or so, eight, 10 years maybe. I will actually do a deeper dive. I want to start doing a deeper dive into all the different diet programs and a lot of the different diet pushers. And I don't think Tim is a diet pusher per se. Um, and his four-hour work week was awesome. I, I, I got to give him credit for that. I never read the four-hour body, by the way. But what diet programs, as a quick pause, what diet programs do you want me to review? What diet influencers do you want me to grow? Diet pushers. What supplements do you want me to review? And then what strength coach PT influencers do you want me to review? Leave them in comments after this video post. Come back, leave them in the comments below. So I want to start, you know, doing a true deep dive into some of these people. Hopefully we can find good people out there too. There's not many though. Andrew says, when I look for food at the stores, I should focus on the labels. Say they have artificial flavors or should I focus on something else? I always focus on lean, green, and clean. Lean, green, and clean is the way to go. Healthful whole foods, real food, earth grown foods. I mean, it should basically, you know, have dirt on it. If it really doesn't have dirt on it or didn't just get pulled out of the ocean, you know, I might not want to buy it. Very rarely do we buy food that is in um, bags and boxes and cans. I mean, we have a little bit like beans maybe in our house, but most of the food we eat is, is fresh vegetables and fruit, you know, maybe some oats. Um, or some rice, things like that, but healthful whole foods. That's the way to go. That is the way to go. And you know what it is. Read the ingredients, read the ingredients, read the ingredients, but like, damn, like if you're buying peanut butter and the ingredients are more than like peanuts and maybe salt, don't buy it. Don't buy peanut butter that has sugar in it. You will be shocked. Go to your pantry right now. Come back tomorrow when we do another video and tell me how much of the peanut butter in your house has sugar in it. Why do you put sugar in peanut butter? Holy shit. How many parents are feeding their kids dozens of extra grams of sugar per day hidden inside their peanut butter, which has dozens of extra grams of sugar hidden inside the bread and dozens of extra grams of sugar hidden inside the jelly and dozens of extra grams of sugar hidden inside the little juice box that they're drinking with their little peanut butter and jelly sandwich that the parent are sending them to school thinking that they're healthy. You're not, it's not healthy. I, I got to do a whole video on parents also here. Saqib says I get alerts. Hell yeah. Guys and gals, thank you all so much. I think we are breaking free from that shadow ban. You're finally getting alerted. It seems, I mean, those of you here are getting alerted, but you know, we got, we have 45, 48,000 or so subscribers and uh, we're still not quite getting all the interaction and engagement that we would assume we would get from a channel because that's a lot of people who've subscribed. So stay engaged. Thank you for being here. Of course, I will work my ass off to provide you the most honest, actionable and evidence-based information to dramatically improve your life, hopefully in a moderately entertaining manner that keeps you here long enough so you hear something that's interesting and useful. That's what I'm trying to do for you guys. Does it make a difference if I grow my 93.7 beef in patty form versus just in the pan one way? Nope, we, we make ours every which way. So we'll, we'll get our certified Piedmontese. Click the link below. Use that Dolce promo code. Save 25%. I get zero kickback if you use that promo code. I, you use it or don't use it. I get no kickback. But save the 25%. Get the free shipping delivered to your house. Certified Piedmontese is this little link right there. Bam, 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 bam. Certified Piedmontese grass-fed, grass-finished beef. Their ground beef is fucking insane. It's so freaking delicious. We make ours... We make, when I say we, I mean brandy, right? Very, very uh, um, so chauvinistic of me. We make meatballs. We make meatloaf. We whip it into our power pasta sauce or into our champion chili. 
Um, we will make burgers all the time. I'll cook them out back on the grill. Uh, I'll make just, you know, it's crappy weather out here in New Jersey. We'll just make them right on the skillet. No problem. Uh, what else do we do? Just be like sausage and peppers. We'll use it like any which way you can make it, make it and have fun. F you is tofu crap. It's not crap, but it's not awesome. By the way, excuse me while I drink some of the Dolce way here. That's fucking delicious. By the way, it is literally flavored with cacao. It's kind of hard to read, but it is our chocolate version, which is, we call it organic cacao. That's the flavor. And guess what we use to flavor it? Well, we actually use organic cacao pea, and then that's it. No natural flavors, no artificial nothing, no synthetics. That's it. We actually flavor our cacao with real cacao bean. We flavor our vanilla with real vanilla bean. Who else does that? You know why these other companies don't do that? Because it's expensive. And if you price our product next to their product, you will find you're getting more grams of protein per dollar on ours than theirs, which means our margins are tiny, but I don't care. I want to pass that savings on to you and F those other shitty companies. Again, their quote, health food is not healthy. Ours actually is read the ingredients. AG says, are you thinking of relocating to Texas, Dallas, Addison, solid fertile grounds for a business? All right. I appreciate that. We are thinking of relocating to Texas. We're looking at properties right now. We're looking in the Dallas area, the Houston area, the Austin area, down in San Antonio. I mean, I would love to be on the water. I'm on the ocean right now here in New Jersey, right on the Jersey shore. I would love to be on that Gulf Coast. But hurricanes, right? It kind of like gets beat up. We don't know enough about it. That's the thing. We're trying to learn more. I'm going to read. I got some buddies out there, but I, I mean, you guys are my friends too. I'd love to hear your real honest thoughts of living in Texas. Does anyone live on the Gulf coast of Texas? Does any, like, I'm leaning towards Houston. I've been to Houston a few times. Houston is gorgeous. I got a lot of good friends in Austin, right? Austin's pretty cool. Um, so I mean, Texas is such a big state. I want property. I want property. I want privacy. I don't need a big house. I got a big house right now. I don't want a big house. I want a good, maybe, you know, 2000 or so square foot, you know, four bedroom, three bathroom house, nice, modern. I need a pool. I need a hot tub. I need an outbuilding, probably need a barn. I want a couple of horses, right? I, I'm looking for a good piece of property, but I'm not looking for massive acreage that I got. I don't want to be working a farm, right? I just want more like a homestead with some acreage out there. Just if anyone's a real estate agent in Texas, hit me up, by the way. Um, Josh McCullough, what's up, my brother? Um, hey, Coach, question. When you make your last deserved meal on fight camp, how many weeks out? Uh, well, we have the protein party seven days out. We'll have, depending on where your weight is, Josh, probably anywhere between day 10 and day seven. And it, it's a great way to reset that metabolism. Um, buddy, you know, hit me up, man. Josh McCullough is a Dolce Diet certified coach down from, uh, um, you know, down um, in Australia. So my man. Um, hey, Coach, how do you plan your deserve? I have answered that, right? Your deserve meals. How do you plan deserve meals with fight camp? Well, it's usually depending on where you are, if you're ahead of the game or behind the game, right? We want to be ahead. So that's where the earned meal concept comes in, Josh. And you're always ahead of the game. You're always busting your ass. You work so hard in the off season, but you want to make sure your weight is on track. So when we get to about three weeks out, we want to be able to make weight three weeks out. That way we can start to increase our total caloric consumption and then just dry out at the very end. Um, it should have dirt on it or have had parents. I like that, Bradley. That right on. We're talking about how do you determine what food to eat? Yep, it, it should, should should have dirt on it or it should have squeezed out of its uh, mama's belly. I don't have questions, but I wanted to say thank you, Mike Palato. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of our community. We appreciate you. I appreciate you guys so much for being here, for spending time and for supporting this channel. So thank you guys. Why don't I have a badge? I substance forever. I uh, keep. So you have to be a subscriber, which you are, but I see Zlatan down there has a subscriber badge. You just click that little join button. Now, YouTube doesn't allow me to make the price any less expensive than 99 cents. It's 99 cents per month. I mean, we have some subscribers that are paying $100 a month because they get other greater features. But I, I, I would wish I could give the dollar back to you um, every month. I don't want your money, but I do want to see everybody with a badge. Those individuals who have a badge, you will have access to some of our live Q&As with, we have a bunch of doctors that will be coming on soon, a bunch of thought leaders coming on soon, a bunch of rather famous people you already know coming on soon, a bunch of our athletes who 
are fucking incredible. We have a bunch of guests coming on this show and everybody can watch. But those of you who have the subscriber badge, that is the benefit. You will be able to interact directly, ask questions of those who are a part of the show. So that's one of the cool things. And then we're working on some other cool events for all of our, our um, badged up subscribers. The badge, simply, it's, it's just taking that extra step so we know that you're a subscriber. We know you're like an inside member of the community. You certainly don't have to do it, but for the dollar a month, um, Hopefully we, we provide enough value to you guys um, that it, it's worth 99 cents per month. And I was working all day trying, that's as low as we can freaking get the thing. If anyone knows how to get it lower, please let me know. I wish I could make it for free. So all of our subscribers, bam, got that badge. But I, I appreciate you guys for being here. Um, your title says win, not when. Well, uh, thank you. I appreciate that. I'll, I'll fix that. Uh, thank you. Uh, Ms. Latan says nut butter is probably the easiest to make yourself not buying it from the store since quite some time I don't add salt but a little bit of olive oil right on I usually add a little bit of peanut oil uh, to our um, nut butter uh, which is great when is the best to do a mobility stretch workout by itself or before and after before so I'll do a and this is great for everyone I will do a dynamic warm up prior to all of my strength training my exercise sessions and then I will do a more of a, a mobility warm down at the end of training. But you can certainly host these specific mobility based sessions as a workout all by itself or have specific days. Like I will put mobility workouts on my days off my GPP days or some days when I'm a little beat up. Um, haha. Coach, you're. Boat race has gotten even thinner since the last stream. Unreal. Thank you. I think you mean my face has gotten thinner. Yeah, I'm in the middle of a massive recomposition right now. The goal is to be 8% body fat by May 1st. And I am trucking right now. You guys would be proud of me. I am busting my ass when no one is watching. My diet is freaking on point. Uh, my exercise is, is I'm pushing. I'm tracking everything. Like I'm getting my sleep. I'm every single thing I tell you guys to do. I am doing, I am I'm certainly doing everything. I don't want to say I'm leading from the front because I don't, I don't see myself as leading you per se, but I'm doing what I tell you to do. I am practicing what I preach and you will see it. You're seeing it. if you go back over a few weeks, you'll see like my face change. You could probably see like my body changing. You can see, you see it in real time, which is the great thing because I fucking do it. Like I come on here every day and I tell you guys the truth. I believe I am the most honest man in fitness. I'm completely transparent. I've never sold out. I only tell you the truth, period, the end. That's my job. But even when I'm doing this stuff, I tell you, this is what works. And I tell you what works. I, I suggest that you guys do it, but I do it myself. And then you can see that in real time. You will see me dramatically transform my body over the next few weeks and months. By May 1st, you'll look back at this video. You'll be like, holy shit, Dolce, fuck it, you Knocked it out of the park. That's what we're doing right now. And then starting February 1st, I'm working on a 12-week challenge for you guys as a way to motivate you guys to jump on and do it with me. We're calling it right now. It's around the office. We're calling it the Sexy Summer Challenge, right? So it'll give you 12 weeks to like totally transform your body. So when May hits, you're already fucking locked in. Most people don't even think about dieting until April. No, 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 no. I want to get you guys started as soon as possible so you can have the sexiest summer of your life. That's my goal. I want sexy summer, baby. I want to be walking around in fucking loincloths looking like I'm fully clothed. Like I want to walk in the five-star restaurants with a fucking loincloth on and people like have me, the, 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 the maitre d' sit me right at the, the, the top table because I'm just so completely um, um, healthy and balanced. Like I say this, kind of making a joke but at the same time i'm working my ass off to be at my very best that that's the goal and that's what i suggest for you guys and i appreciate that ec thank you for the kind compliment that, that really does um fuel a, a bit of my motivation it's nice to hear can you know positive feedback zlatan bam zlatan the rogue is badged up click that join button get that badge so we can know senpai what do you think about alba oil from sweden rapeseed oil that has an amazing butter taste. You know, I don't know anything about it. I, I apologize. So let me actually screenshot this. And I will do a little bit of my own due diligence and I'll learn more. So if I don't know about something, I will tell you. I don't know about it. Therefore, I cannot comment. Um, if I do know something, well, then I will tell you everything I know. I will get on my high horse. I don't know enough about it, but it sounds very interesting. And thank you for the suggestion. 
Christian, if you're thinking of da Dallas, Grand Prairie is a great suburb. Lots of lakes and lakeside properties, but beware of tornado. No, okay, we want to stay away from natural disasters. We want to stay away from tornadoes. We want to stay away. Like, I'd love to go to Florida, but Brandy's like, Aunt alligators. Nope. My buddy actually moved to Tampa from New Jersey. He moved to Tampa. He's an engineer. He can work remotely. He, his wife, their, their brand new baby, they moved to Tampa. 8.30 in the morning, he's driving his wife to work. 8.30 in the morning, there is a 8 foot alligator walking down the street like it's going to flag a bus their new jersey brains exploded as would mine he's in the process of moving back to new jersey he's like there's no fucking way we cannot let our child outside we can't their dog was almost eaten by an alligator at the dog park like what kind of world is this in new jersey you know we get the occasional hurricane that's okay, but we're used to it. You get a, a rabid raccoon, you know, once every 10 years or so in town. Nah, that's about it. I know that there's a snake issue down in Texas, so we're trying to learn a little bit more about that. So all my Texas friends, please fill me in. Are we overreacting? Am I being a drama queen? But I got two little kids. I want them to be able to run around, play out back, and not worry. In New Jersey, they can absolutely do that. I live in an amazing town. Um, great place to live. This is a great place to grow up. But when you're an adult, it's a not, not an awesome place to be under the political structure. The, I think we are the rank the, the number one or number two in property tax. Number one, we're in the top 10, of course, of sales tax. We're in the top 10 of, of personal income tax. We are just fucking taxed all over the place here. So that gets a little egregious. And there's some other better areas we think to live to express our personal freedom. So Christian, thank you. Thank you, Christian. Um, we're also thinking of like Wyoming or Montana. A lot of people are thinking about that. And it's not because of Yellowstone. We were talking about Wyoming when we were still living in Las Vegas. We, we thought maybe, we're, you know, maybe we'll go to Wyoming um, just for, because you know, we want land. You know, we, we want land. You know, I grew up with horses. We want a couple horses out there. I want land. I want a water feature. If I'm not living on the lake then or the ocean, then I want to be on a mountain. Uh, but anyway, I'm a senior in high school and I'm just starting to really shop for myself. Good for you, brother. You have helped me learn how to shop for healthy food, which I didn't know how to do before. Andrew, thank you, my man. Uncle Mike, right? Uncle Mike has got your back. That makes me so happy to hear, brother. Thank you so much. Um... Andrew, send me a DM on Instagram um, and I will send you a copy of our college diet guide. I don't have one sitting in front of me right now. They're up in the front of the facility. But college diet guide, the college diet, you can actually just go to Amazon, type in college diet guide or Dolce Diet Shop.com, type in college diet guide. So you can see, we literally wrote a book for college kids to teach you what your parents haven't how to shop for yourself, how to shop on a budget, how to prepare healthy meals, how to maybe smoke weed and not get fat. Maybe we, maybe we discuss that. I don't know where it's legal to do so and medically uh, appropriate. You know, I'm not telling you to do it, but if you know, you're going to do it, we wanted to tell you guys how to do it. So it's kind of a fun tongue in cheek, um, but very honest forthright book. It was kind of like the preliminary version of living lean. How to be healthy while in college. How to be well-fed while in college. How to live this Dolce lifestyle on a budget. So like how to eat six meals a day on less than $50 per week. Like we teach you how to, how to cook for yourself, how to prepare for yourself, like how to, you know, what implements. Because in the college dorm, well, you can't have hot plates. You, you can't have, um, you can't have fire. There's some things you can't have. So we teach you the exact um, things to like go to Target, you know, go to Walmart, go to Amazon, buy this, buy this that you can actually have. So Andrew, thank you, bro. Bro, honestly, shoot me a DM on Instagram. And that's probably the only way that we can really communicate. And I'll, I'll send you out a, a copy of the college that I got. Um, any thoughts on including homemade fresh vegetable juice and raw food? Yeah, we do all the time. We have tons of smoothie recipes inside our Living Lean Cookbook Volume 2. Tons and tons. I don't even know how many smoothie recipes we have, but we got tons of them. So, yeah, we have, I mean, if you have a specific question, but we got two dozen or so at least published um, recipes. Also, if you go to, let me see if I can do that real. I could probably do this real quick. 
Um, bam, go there, go here, and let's see. Ah, perfect. Boom. This is the dolcediet.com. So let's say, boom, I'll take you right to the site, the dolcediet.com. Bam. You want to you know, get in amazing shape. We have all this here, four-week, 12-week personalized diet and exercise program. But you click on content, click on all. We have over 1,200 free articles available to you. And you type in smoothie. Guess what happens? Bam. Smoothie recipes, homemade smoothie bowls, three superfood smoothies, three ways to thicken your smoothies, um, high-protein smoothie recipes, um, celebrate fall with, with the harvest smoothies. When I went to Rich Franklin's smoothie shop, that's actually a great photo. Rich is such a good guy. All of this is here, thedolcediet.com. Go to thedolcediet.com. Free. We have over 1,200 free articles. My favorite is actually... Crock pot. You want some bomb ass crock pot recipes? Go to the Dolce Diet.com. My goodness, it is freaking incredible. All free, ladies and gentlemen. All free. So, wise guy, check that out. Um, Jack says, What do you do when your weight starts to plateau? I plateau. I usually add 10 minutes of low intensity cardio after a meal, and then I'll slowly scale that up to 20 or 30 minutes. Easy. And then I'll reevaluate the food I'm, I'm looking at. Well, actually, I'll take a look. Am I getting enough sleep? Am I stressed out in my regular life? Am I exercising consistently, intelligently, and progressively? Am I following my meal plan? That usually fixes everything. And then like when I'm getting ultra lean, like I did over the summer is because I can't work out any harder. I already went in like when I'm, when it's gay time or game time, man, I, I can't work out any harder. Like I, I do what I'm supposed to do, right? I will collapse in a pool of my own blood and sweat and phlegm and, and all other body fluids on the floor at the end of my workout. Like I, I will push that hard. So I can't train any harder or any heavier or any longer, but I can do more cardio, more low intensity cardio to keep mobilizing that extra stored body fat. My, the last thing I do is lower calories. The last thing I do is lower calories. I will increase energy expenditure every time before lowering calories. Absolutely. Mike, is there any truth to people saying you can only digest a certain amount of protein per meal? What would be a good target amount per meal? Anywhere between 30 to 60 grams on average. We usually sit right around 40 or so grams for most of those healthy athletic adults that we work with, really regardless of body size. Now, if you're on the 105 pound range, we work with some guy and gals that are, you know, lower 100 pounds. We work with some guys and gals that are in the upper 300 pounds or more we still fall right into that 30 to 60 or so grams of protein per meal spread over four to five feedings per day. Most human beings getting 150 to 200 grams of protein per day, you're fine. You are absolutely fine, right? You're good to go. So honest answer, but is there an upper limit? There is, but it, they used to say 30 grams, 30 grams, 30 grams. I don't know where that came up. I, I blame Joe Weider most likely, excuse me. Mm. the Dolce way, baby. Click the link below to learn more. But really, you know, I think Dr. Andy Galpin, Dr. Brad Schoenfeld, Dr. Eric Helms have done quite a bit of research on this. And we know for sure it's far in excess. I usually fall right around 40 grams or so per meal because that's a decent sized plate of food. Now, if you're eating 50 or 60 grams of protein per meal, well, what about the carbs? What about the fat? That's, that gets to be a lot gets to be a lot um ha pizza boy my man f you dolce got the dolce way this morning smells like smells like peace love and biceps well that is the truth my friend eric indiana's not too bad good to know man tell me more where specifically in indiana i'm open texas property tax isn't low it's a hell of a lot lower than new jersey i'll tell you that for sure it is a hell, like we look, we've been looking similar price homes to the one that we live in right now. And number one, we can get a home twice as nice as our current home for half the money. So that's something literally there are homes, which are half the price of our house and they are freaking phenomenal palaces on acres and acres. Right now we live on the beach. So there's some difference here, but the property taxes are dramatically lower 
compared to New Jersey. Maybe not compared to other parts of the nation, but compared to New Jersey, it is. Income tax is a real issue. So that's a serious issue, you know, and also a little bit of the um, just general personal freedom, right? I'm not an ultra conservative. I'm not a progressive liberal. I really do fall. You guys know me. I fall very much like right in the middle. I'm just a moderate dad just trying to take care of my kids and be a, you know, good member of the community. Like, you know, I want to pay my taxes and support the school system and the police and all that, but I don't want to be sending tons of my money to idiots who are just wasting it on crappy programs with no sense of, of, of fiscal responsibility. Like they, they never balance a budget. That's a whole nother story, by the way, but still the rogue badged up, baby. I love seeing that bitch. Apparently Alba oils recommended fatty acid pattern. Okay, brother, I'm actually going to screenshot that. I'm going to do a little bit of research. Thank you for sharing that with me, by the way. Ryan says, I live in El Paso, Texas, and it's nice. No natural disasters whatsoever and surrounded with mountains. Unfortunately, no lakes, but property tax is relatively low, low crimes, and plenty of law in El Paso, Texas. I will look that up. Thank you, brother. El Paso. Add that to the list because I don't think we looked at El Paso yet. Brandy might have. She's got like 20 different properties all hosted inside her little Zillow thing. Um, El Paso is turning into a retirement destination and in the right neighborhood will live very comfortably. It also helps that we have Kings MMA, 10th Planet Alliance. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome. Um, and also to raise children. You know, I'm, I got I got young kids. We would love to send them to highly ranked public schools. That would be the goal. I don't want to, you know, have to send them private because the public schools aren't awesome. We want to send them to local community schools. Uh, we homeschool right now, by the way. Zach was indulging in the devil's lettuce and ran into Lyoto Machida at a restaurant in Florida this Saturday. He was very nice, even though he beat my heir, Sonnen. That is not true. Chael Sonnen has never lost a fight, ever. What are you talking about? You must have, you probably didn't see the, the extra round, the bonus round. Chael won that fight, by the way. Um, told him I was going to whip his ass if he stepped out of line, and he just laughed and asked if we wanted to take a picture, dude is a beast. Yeah, I I, I know Lyoto. Le I've, I've you know been around him a, a few times. He's just a gentleman. He's a gentleman. He's a good dude, man. Hard working dude. A beast. A beast of a man in his prime. He was terrifying. I remember when we were working with Rampage to fight him. That was one of the most intense training camps we ever had because we, that was more intense than the Vanderlei camp. Um, more and I mean that was the most yeah which Vanderlei was terrifying also we knew Mashida was going to be probably the best fighter Rampage has fought at, until that point Eric is in Fort Wayne Fort Wayne that's awesome move to Florida Dolce check out Hamlin in Winter Garden middle upper income developing area about 20 minutes from Orlando houses on the lake Zach C what about the alligators brother what about the alligators how about this we were in Disney World this year, Fort Wilderness. And guess what happened? A, what the hell's the name? A, a water pipe, a water moccasin. A water moccasin comes. I got I'm, I'm sitting there outside my airstream. M one of the camping neighbors rolls up. He's like, excuse me. I was like, yeah, what's up, man? He's like, I just want you to know. He's like, we're pulling out, but I just want you to know. I just ran over a water moccasin and I didn't have a shovel or something to finish it off. And it squirreled away under your neighbor's camper. And he's like, we're, we're hauling out of here. I was like, what? I called the ranger. The ranger comes out. They got the like animal control team. They finally go in there. They bag this thing up. A water moccasin, which is deadly. Hanging out at Fort Wilderness in Disneyland, man. Like. There was no alligator there, but the alligator show. And I was talking to the ranger. I was like, alligator? She's like, eh, you know, sometimes, sometimes. How about this? One of the rangers told me a story that horrifying family years ago was sitting outside their camper and a, 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 a rattlesnake, a python, I'm not sure, a poisonous snake literally fell out of the tree landed on a little boy and bit his face. The boy lived, but his grandmother had a heart attack and died. That's the story the ranger told me. And I don't think she was supposed to tell me that story, by the way. Where we were like, are you fucking kidding me? Now that happened. I get it. I'm an outdoorsman. I get it. Shit happens. But man, this is Disney World, baby. Uh, Lou the Builder, what's up, Lou? Good to see you, my man. Hope all is well. 
What do you think about the Game Changers on Netflix? I thought it was a good show. You know what I noticed on Game Changers that they didn't get credit for? And I'm actually, um, um, I, I interviewed James Wilkes years ago when that first came out. And I consider myself friends with James. They never said vegan. What they always said was mostly plant-based. Well, I'm down with that. Mostly plant-based. Guess what? The Dolce diet? Well, it's mostly plant-based. If you look at our ingredient list, if you're following the Living Lean program, there's about 60 different ingredients from nuts and seeds and fruits and vegetables and animal products. It's 90% plant-based. What do you get? You get steak, you get chicken, you get fish, you get eggs, maybe a little cheese, some whey protein. All right, that's six items. The other 54 items are all plant-based. Chia seed, hemp seed, flax seed, um, cinnamon, thyme, rosemary, black beans, chickpeas, um, peppers, onions, uh, asparagus, spinach, tomatoes, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, oats, buckwheat, quinoa, amaranth. Go down the list, right? That's mostly plant-based. Oh, shit. But we're omnivores. We're omnivores. That's the difference. <laughs> Zach, that's funny, brother. Alligators and snakes only bite Democrats. I heard that's true, actually, by the way. Um, holy crap, Mike. If I ever got bit by a snake, I would have to eat it. Can't let that slide, bro. I get you, man. I get you. But as soon as my wife heard that, she was like, eh, gone. For years and years and years, she was like, she didn't want to move to Texas where we were leaving Vegas because of tornadoes. Like, not all of Texas gets hit by a tornado. It's like not all of New Jersey gets hit by hurricanes. We're literally moving right to where hurricanes show up. We're living on the beach. But we grew up on the on you know on the shore, so we understand it, and it's there's no fear of it. It's like people who grew up in Florida, they're like, ah, it's no big deal. Alligators are no big deal. People who grew up in Texas, they're like, ah, snakes are no big deal. Okay. So it was just funny, like, you know, difference. Jesse Lee, oh, Ninja, Dolce. My wife is loving the compact steel like feel to my abs and body all thanks to the dolce diet the dolce diet making marriages better right i think that's going to be the new tagline three weeks to shred it is mostly plant-based i sub meat to tofurkey sweet earth and um light life dude ag right on high five to you get it back in the early days before there was turkey bacon, really, we used to use Tofurky in the first version of Three Weeks to Shredded. I think the 2007 edition of Three Weeks to Shredded, the um, the plastic bound version of Three Weeks to Shredded, we had Tofurky in there because you there was no turkey bacon in 2007. There was very little organic food at all in 2007. We had Tofurky in there. Tofurky is delicious, by the way. Delicious. Awesome, awesome stuff. Um well, guys and gals, I appreciate you all for being here. Thank you. I just want to quickly remind you, if you are interested, go to thedolcediet.com. Check out our four-week and 12-week personalized diet and exercise program. We have had a 100% rate, success rate for over 20 years working with the world's greatest athletes. Very proudly, we have, I don't even know how many at this point, Hundreds of thousands of amazing humans have come through our programs, purchased our books, um, just created just dramatic life transformations. We have thousands, untold thousands, I don't even know anymore, untold thousands of amazing testimonials from real hardworking folks, just like you guys, who have dramatically transformed their life. You can see just a few here um, if you're interested in following a program that is evidence-based and effective, proven effective by the world's greatest athletes 100% of the time for over 20 years, you probably want to check out thedolcediet.com. Again, four-week and 12-week personalized diet and exercise program is available to you with a 20% discount. If you're interested, just click the links below. Anything I can do for you guys, I am here for you. Always happy to just, you know, Spend some time with you. I love these chats and uh, being able to, to just share this information. Hey, Mike, did you hear Dana White talk about the Joe Rogan COVID remedy and the report asked him if you or he's a doctor? Don't want to get you in trouble if you can. Yeah, I saw that. It was crap. I think that was Kevin Ioli from Yahoo News. Um, what does that have to do with it?
You don't have to be a doctor to say, hey, I took this and it made me feel better and I felt better. I watched that interview. I was like, that's the stupidest, most progressive, liberal, biased comment question ever. Now, what I, I, I actually do what, know what Dana's protocol was and Joe's protocol and all the other stuff. And I do know that people can get it and can't get it. I do know that everyone is affected differently. I know that people, certain medicines, Tylenol works for some people and not for everyone. Ibuprofen works much better for other people, not for others. That is true, right? Creatine. I am a hyper responder to creatine. I am a zero responder to CBD. CBD can, does nothing for me. I've had thousands and thousands of dollars of CBD sent to me. Does absolutely nothing for me at all. And I'll have somebody else take in a friend or whatever. Man, they'll be just like euphoric and knocked out in 30 minutes. I'll take triple their dose and it doesn't do anything for me. We can't have the conversation. That's what blows my mind. That's what blows my mind. Travis has a beach house in Panama City. Oh, living the good life, my man. Need a neighbor? Um, also, I need your advice about surgery. I sent you a message to IG right on Brian. I will dig through and find you, my man. Um... Jesse got his certified Piedmontese delivered today. Stock for the month. Bam. Thank you for the discount. Jesse, happy to do so. Anyone who wants grass-fed, grass-finished beef delivered to your door, every cut you can think of, click this link right here, certified Piedmontese, or go to the link below this video. Certified Piedmontese is the company. Again, that Dolce promo code will save you 25%, and I do not get a kickback of that. Use the code or don't use it. I get no money for use of the code. You guys get the full discount. 25% goes straight to you, plus free shipping on orders of, of $99 or more delivered to your door in two days or less. And it's the most pristine meat that you will ever eat um, outside of possibly wild caught. But even then, uh, I'm not sure. Um, uh, George, Dolce, is it okay to go water first thing in the morning or does it... That not get absorbed. No, just get it down. Get it down. That's that don't you know hurt yourself. But yeah, just get it down. You'll be fine. AG, I took the first V a week ago. That Pfizer V is a heavyweight. Well, good for you. Let's see how you feel, my man. Stay safe. Stay everyone, stay safe. Do what you believe is right to stay safe. That's the thing. Do what you and your doctor believe is right for you to be safe. That's the goal. Why is that so controversial? Do what you and your doctor believe is right for you based upon your health history, based upon your current lifestyle, based upon your, your condition, that's all. That, that's the conversation. Do what you think is best with the input of your doctor. We can't say that anymore, oddly. That's, cra that's just crazy talk. It's crazy talk. But anyway, you guys, all I want you to focus on is what you can control, and that's living your very best life. That's focusing on your personal health. It's making better decisions. It's, it's ensuring that your habits are in line with your goals moving forward. We want to look better. We want to feel better. We want to live better, longer, and I want to help you get there. So thank you guys once again for being here. You are absolutely freaking amazing. I appreciate you. I will be back on tomorrow with another great topic, great video for you. If you haven't, please consider subscribing to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up if, if any of this content was cool and useful. And uh, leave a comment below or a question. Or let me know of any video you want me to post in the future. What diets do you want me to do a full review on? What fitness influencers do you want to get my opinion on? And I will happily do that. What products may be out there on the market are you on the fence about that you would love for me to review? I want to start doing a lot of re reviews for you guys now too. So let me know. I appreciate you guys once again. And until next time, boom!